Fossils. When you think of the word fossil, what comes to mind? Do you think about dinosaur bones? What about trilobites? Would you be surprised to learn that there are lots of different types of fossils? Let's dig in and learn some more. Fossils are the remains of plants and animals that lived a long time ago. Scientists, called paleontologists, study fossils to learn more about a plant or animal's past life and also discover other information about the Earth itself. Many of the remains that are uncovered are from species that are extinct or no longer living on the planet. What are fossils? Fossils are the remains of plants and animals that lived a long time ago. Fossils come in many colors and are made up of different types of minerals. Most fossils are found in sedimentary rock layers. As a review, sedimentary rock is rock that has formed from sand, mud, or small pieces of rock. Small pieces of an animal or plant's remains become squeezed between the layers of this sediment and are buried under even more layers as time passes. What rock layer are fossils typically found in? Sedimentary rock. Fossils are typically heavier than their source material because they are formed entirely of minerals. This is called mineralization. For example, a fossil of a leaf is much heavier than the original leaf itself. Same with animals. A bone fossil will weigh more than a bone because it is fully mineralized. Why are fossils heavier than their source material? Because they are made entirely of minerals. There are different types of fossils and fossil formation. The first will feel super familiar because it is what most people think about when they think about fossils. It is the mineralized remains of a dead organism or the imprint that a dead organism leaves behind. When an animal dies and its body becomes buried in the ground, its teeth and bones remain. Over time, the chemicals in the buried animal's body go through many changes. As the bone slowly decays, mineral-filled water seeps into the bone and replaces any existing chemicals with other minerals that are as hard as a rock. This entire process is called fossilization. What parts of a dead organism are the last to decay? Bones and teeth. Another type of fossil is a trace fossil. Trace fossils are something that was made by an animal while it was still living but has since turned to stone. Some examples of this type of fossil are animal tracks, animal waste, and animal eggs. All of these fossil types can give scientists insights into the behavior, diets, and location of extinct animals. Name three examples of a trace fossil. Animal tracks, animal waste, and animal eggs. Mummification is also considered to be a type of fossil. It occurs when the soft tissues of an animal's skin and organs are preserved and completely dried. Mummified bodies of animals, including humans, have been discovered in arid, dry climates around the world, like in the tombs of Egypt. Ice can also preserve mummified animals for long periods of time like woolly mammoths. Here is an interesting fact. The best and most rare way for a fossil to be formed is inside ice. The animal must be continually frozen from the time of death until discovery. Utsi the Iceman is an example of this type of fossil. Fossils are a fascinating part of our Earth and offer us a window into the past. Maybe one day, you will become a paleontologist 
and discover new and interesting fossils. Maybe you will even uncover an unknown animal species. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.